All right, here is our tiny house trailer and all of the foundation work is complete. So there's basically three components to this. We've got the trailer extensions. There's four of these on each side and they make the bed wider by nine, inch, nine inches. We've got the two by eights that run across here that's gonna support our subfloor. The 24 inches on center and the two by eights are just turned sideways to support that. And then we've got this gable end beam that's made from two by sixes built up. And then I've had to fabricate some beam hangers for this to attach the wood to this metal. And I'm using eight lag screws that penetrate the C channel here and go into the extensions themselves. That's very strong. Now this beam basically divides, or at least shows where the house ends and the porch deck begins. Now you see what we've done here on the porch deck framing is we've got these ledger boards that we've attached. That's because these framing connectors, these joist hangers need those boards to attach to. They need to be able to attach to something that's made from wood. Now we also made sure that we used hot dip galvanized fasteners and the joist hangers are triple galvanized. That's because all of this is going to be exposed to the weather. The porch decking will run across here. It's going to have gaps in it and it's going to allow the water and everything to penetrate. So we're going to leave all this cavity open to allow that to drain through and not result in water damage. Now all of the lumber that we used for this foundation was, or rather it came with the trailer. We pulled it all off and ripped it all to various dimensions, 2 by 8s 2 by 6s and cut it to various lengths. And we were able, able to make all of the, uh, make use of it all. Almost all of it went right back on the trailer. Um, but we didn't have to spend a dime on lumber. All we had to pay for were uh, the fasteners that we bought to attach it.